and shine! Hi guys, I'm Fireman7, welcome to the channel. This is episode 2 of Apollo Kwan City Save from South Africa in Football Manager 2019. I'm glad you can join us this morning. Remember, 7am every morning, every Sunday morning, sorry, should I say. Uh, we will be bringing this save to you. So um, make sure you smash that like button, guys. If you're new to the channel, you want to see more of this, and hit that subscribe. And uh, let's get cracking on the episode. Now, the previous one we did discuss what we have been doing, um, or just a brief introduction, should I say, of the Pollock One City Save. I've never been in South Africa before. I've never seen anyone do South Africa before. So I thought it'd be nice, and I really did like their motto and their symbol in Rise and Shine, Pollock One City, a young football club who have uh, only been really in existence um, for the last couple of years, really. So uh, the aim of this save is to dominate South African football, we're going to take over the likes of Kaiser Chiefs, Super Sport, um, Orlando Pirates, Black Leopards, all of those teams. And I'm really interested to see how this save pans out. Like I said, I haven't seen anyone else do this before, so it's going to be really interesting. And, and what I want to quickly show you to start off with uh, is the fact that we've gone through and uh, re-evaluated our squads. We've limited, well, we've got no one in the under-19s, but in our reserves, we've limited that. Uh, we have let a few players go, so the squad is a bit smaller. Um, as you can see, the ability is not too bad. Uh, most of them are three stars. We have got a couple of four-star players. This one will be leaving us, as I discussed last time. And in terms of transfers, we haven't really brought anyone in, but we've let a few players go. We've not really made too much money, only 50000 now, but uh, we have done a bit of clearing out. Uh, the biggest change, I would say, has been in our staff... I'm going to have a look at all staff now because there's going to be a couple of names that probably stand out to you guys. So the first one being our new Chief Scout. I want to welcome Kim Kallstrom, the man that was um, on one of our... I think he's in my Panathinaikos save as a, a scout, to be fair. Um, not fantastic, but he's a big name. Kim Kallstrom is at Pollock One City. Surprised I managed to get him, actually. Another big name that has come in is our Director of Football, Avram Grant, former Chelsea manager. He has decided to join us. Again, I do not know how I managed to pull this one off. He obviously was intrigued by the projects we've got going on at Pollock One City here. Um, but he has got a lot of knowledge, especially about Ghana, Israel, Pol Poland, India. Um, so he will be instrumental in us getting some good players. Hopefully Juan's on free. And obviously he was the Ghana manager. Actually, let's have a quick look at his history. Obviously, we know what he'd done before. Uh, was at Portsmouth for a bit. Director of football at Chelsea. Then Chelsea manager. Then director of football at Portsmouth. Manager at Port, uh, Portsmouth as well. Then he went to West Ham. And then it's gone downhill a little bit there. Partizan, he was manager. Uh, BEC, who are now Police Tiro. Ghana. Uh, Gu Where's this club from? North East United. Where, what country? Is this from Nigeria, potentially? I don't know. But... Obviously, he's taken a bit of a dip, but he's decided to come to us. So we've signed Avram Grant now. I don't think there's anyone else, really, uh, that you will know. Uh, I've got in this guy, Badra. I don't know what he's going to be like. And we've got in Vandenberg as well. Pretty good. 13 and 13 for scouting. He's from Belgium. Uh, actually scored 20 goals in 48 appearances for Belgium. So uh, I like the look of this guy. Hopefully, he can get some decent players over from Belgium for us. Uh, but that is... Uh, the changes that we've made to our staff. Um, in terms of tactic, we've we've gone for this again. Um, no real change, really. But we're gonna we've got two games for you today. The big one is coming last, so obviously you'll have to hold on uh, to watch that game. But we've got Highlands Park at home, uh, and then we've got Black Leopards away. We did start the season with a three-one defeat to Amazulu. And we had a really decent pre-season, to be fair. We only lost the one game to Liberty. I think some of these other clubs that we played were in the lower divisions. Uh, but we were scoring a lot of goals. Defensively, not too bad. But we were scoring a lot of goals. Uh, and then we got shot down by Amazulu. So I'm hoping we can pick up a good result against Highlands Park. And then also surprise some people with a result against Black Leopard. So we're just going to crack in with the game. Because nothing else too much has happened apart from... Uh, obviously, players leaving and uh, changes to the scan network. I've just been getting used to the players' names, etc., like that. Um, this guy has been performing quite well, to be fair. 
Uh, well, he done well in uh, pre-season. Uh, likes coming from the right hand side, uh, but this is basically our starting lineup. This is oh, is Shigova our better player. Shigova is probably our better player, so I might swap him for Underlove. Yeah, I'm gonna swap him for Underlove. Maybe that will help us get a, a victory there. Uh, Ricotto on the right, he's good. Ranulu. Uh, I can't remember if I did say that. Um, uh, Ricotto was a player that we brought in on loan or not. But uh, it's full star ability up to four and a half. He looks pretty good at right back because we were quite weak there. Uh, Mopiana and Seema in defence. Don't think we're going to make any changes there. Um, who else we've got? Ramagnelli is not is injured, sorry. So he's not going to be playing. So uh, uh, And a couple of players that aren't fully fit. So uh, have we got another striker on? I'm going to put Anus on the bench. Is it going to let me? Yeah, so we've got Anus on the bench. So that is going to be our lineup for today's game. I hope we get a good victory. I can't remember if I said it or not, but if you like this video, guys, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of this. I do love, um, I think we're playing the OPZ um, skin on this. I love the way it, it loads up there. You've got this little graphic that comes up match day, Pollock One City, Highlands. I really, really do like that. Um, but let's get cracking on with the game, eh? Let's speak to the lads. Um, okay. Well, they didn't really, they didn't really like that. And I need to change this so all the tunnel talk gets taken over by my sister manager because I never ever deal with my tunnel talk. But um, at the moment, we are defending. We've got a free kick. And uh, oh, I thought he went close there. Goalkeeper with a good save. Defender put it behind. It's now gone for a corner. Mapoyene, who took the free kick, had a chance there. But it's, uh, it's headed clear. And now we are on the defence, as the Americans say. But Ricoso, the new right back, wins the ball back. Plays it to Masona. Ricoso picks up the ball. Whips in a good cross. Uh, but the keeper's there. Three minutes. And this is another thing I like about this skin as well. Look at the scoreboard at the top. It's very retro. I like that. And um, we've lost the ball again now. But Seba wins the ball back and he shoots just wide of the post. Another thing that I found in this save with Pollock One, we have scored an awful lot of beautiful goals. I don't know if you've been following me on Twitter. Make sure you do so. Fryman7 if you haven't already. Um, but I've been posting a couple of goals on there that we scored. We've scored some absolute beauties. I kid you not. So uh, make sure you check them out. Hopefully we can score some for you today. But so far it's nil-nil. 35 minutes gone. Not too much has happened to be fair. Highlands Park haven't had any chances. It's been all us. But we've not been able to find the back of the net yet. Much like our Panathinaikos save um, on Monday. Where we've just not been able to score. So um, half time has come. Nil-nil. What can we do at half time? Should we be assertive... Keep on doing, you will be fine. So, hopefully we can grab a goal here. Masona, I'm not sure I might swap him, but we, like I said, we've got a couple of injuries, a couple of fitness, fitness issues. So, some of the, the first teamers are not yet in the sides. And I'm hoping that Avram Grant can find us some players um, in time for the next transfer window if we do have any money to spend. That's the one of the biggest problems. We've not really got any money. Um, but it looks like this game is going to finish nil-nil unless something happens here. We've got 18 minutes left. I might make a substitute. Long ball over the top. Ray brings the ball forward. Um, we've won it back again. So Konzi now. Rav to Masona. Back to Rav. Long ball over the top from Rav, but defender heads it clear. Masona on the ball again. So Konze. Seema. Masona. Malueki. On the right-hand side. Good run by him. Has a shot, but it's gone over the bar. We're going to make some subs now because nothing is happening. Uh, Mokondela is having a very poor game, so I'm going to bring on Beloyi. He can have a game here. Who else is not playing very well? Our left-back's not particularly playing very well either. He's on the attack there. Might have to do... What should I do here? What should we do? Bring on Anus. I'm going to bring on Anus because... Uh, Tialone is on the yellow card. He's not fully fit. Take him off. And then we need to make one more change. And I'm going to bring Klopfwe for uh, Malueke, who hasn't done too bad, to be fair. But 
Flopwee is a player that likes to run in at the back post. Um, and I'm hoping he does something today. But Ray with a throw on for Highlands Park, who, again, still haven't had a chance yet. Will they have a chance now? And knowing my luck, they will probably score their only chance. Mabafa. Mabafa brings the ball forward. Hits the ball long. Over the top, looking for the door. He's put it wide. And I was, I was nearly right on my prediction there. One chance, one goal, potentially. But he just put it wide of the post there. Well, I think we were playing a bit too high of a line. And there's three minutes of added time. Highlands Park on the ball again. Franz were looking for Bunting. He finds Nadori, who missed that chance earlier on. Buffer plays it to Ray. Can Ray get it in the box? He can. Oh, can you believe it? <laughs> oh, my God. We've absolutely dominated this game. They've had This is their second shot of the game. And they've put the ball in the back of the net. For some reason... Um, on this formation as well. I seem to be struggling with scoring goals. So I might need to do something with this tactic. Because uh, although we are playing well. And I've seen that goal enough as well. 11 shots. Uh, we just haven't been able to score. Uh, I really don't know why. I want to have a look at the analysis. So that is done. Um, didn't expect that, but if you look at the analysis, we are playing very high up the pitch. Uh, they seem to be playing very deep, uh, and this area here is very packed. Potentially, we were playing quite narrow, uh, so we needed to stretch it out a bit. Probably play deeper to bring them forward to create spaces. So uh, I think that's what we might try to do against some of the... I'm guessing Highland Park are one of the lower league teams. Um, probably play deeper... Um, and look for the long balls over the top. Um, however, being uh, a pass inside, you expect to be able to pass it slowly. Let's have a look at our tactic right now. And if you guys have got any any advice, then um, please let me know in the comments, guys. I appreciate any feedback that you guys can give. Obviously, I want to make this uh, save as entertaining as possible for you guys. Um, but also, uh, we want to win games. So that's why I might need your help. I'm going to just quickly go to the responsibilities because I don't want to do these tunnels. Where is it? Scouting, training, youth development, contracts. Uh, first team, is it this one? Tunnel interviews, there we go. So that can be my assistant manager. Okay, so that's fine. That's done. But let's go to the tactics now just so we can have a look and see what we need to do. So at the moment, we're playing pass it into space. We're playing standard. And maybe I need to pass it around a bit more or play on direct. Because the passing skill is not going to be that great. I'm going to put it on a lower tempo. Um, I'm going to do whipped crosses. So I'm changing it a bit now. Uh, whipped crosses. I'm not going to play out of defense. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to play quite wide because obviously we're going on more direct now. Um, I'll put that slightly higher. I'm going to bring this defensive line down. I'm going to bring that... Yeah, because as you can see, we were, we were quite um, quite low. Because we're playing on direct, we could probably have that a bit higher. Uh, I want to be a press inside. I'm going to take off offside trap because we don't need that. Um, but that is what we're going to... They're the changes I'm going to make. Let me know what you think of that, guys. Because... Uh, I'm hoping it works. And this is another little layout for the OPZ skin. Uh, Twitter. Which I think is quite a nice little effect. It could have made it full screen rather than half screen. But I don't know. I've never made a skin on this. So um, I'm not sure how difficult it is to do that. But if any of you guys have. Then I'll be interested to find out uh, what goes into it. Because I would potentially like to um, create my own skin for uh, FM20 if possible. So if any of you do... Do these skins? Do these? Do do do? If you do these skins, then let me know because I'll be interested to find out um, what we can do together. Uh, but I'm going to skip all these. What we're going to do is we're just going to go all the way to the next game. Although we are likely to sign this player, I don't know if he can go in the team straight away because um, he's currently at Maritzburg. We're getting him on a free transfer, I believe. Uh, free star. He is young as well, 22 years age. Uh, but he is a good player. Uh, so we'll accept that. I don't know when he can join us. Because I think the transfer window is over. Uh, but I'm sure it will confirm in just a second. Let's have a look. 
No, it's not telling me. Uh, but obviously, we're going into this game away to Black Leopards. Um, I'm going to have to change it from positive because obviously they are the favourites to win this game. So I am going to go on cautious. Obviously, we're playing deeper and more direct, so it probably suits that. And um, where was I? What's it doing? Inbox. There we go. So they're the favourites. Uh, Pollock One City go into this game with every chance to walk away with something against slight favourites. So I wouldn't say slight favourites, but favourites, Black Leopards. Um, we're looking for a win. Uh, current manager of Black Leopards is Dylan Kerr, who joined in July 2018. He's been in charge for two months. And there's really no issues apart from, obviously, our Ray Magnella, uh, who's picked up that injury. So, uh, like I said, we're going to crack on with this and go into the tactics for the game. So, due to fitness issues, I'm going to leave the, the, the squad as it is. We've got the boxing box midfielder there, ball winning midfielder. Can he play as anything else? Um, he is probably better as a deep line playmaker, to be fair. So, I'm going to whack him on defenders as a deep line playmaker. Box to box, advanced playmaker. Uh, I'm going to change him as a shadow striker. Uh, and then inside forward, inside forward, wing back attack there. Uh, let's see what happens. Is he better as an attacking inside forward or as a winger? On the map, he, him as a winger, he can be an inside forward. See what happens. Played around with it. Can we get a good result here? I'm not expecting to get one against uh, Black Leopards. Again, I love the way it fades in. That's beautiful. Uh, but it's going to be a big game today. Big game today against Black Leopards. Um, a big side in South African football. Masona on the ball. Sakudzi. Uh, and um, obviously we've changed the tactics. So it'll be interesting to see how that works. Makondela with a corner. But Undlove. Uh, not Peter Undlove. He used to play for Coventry City. But... Um, this is Black Leopards one. A great ball to Zulu on the left wing. He cuts the ball across. Good block. Zulu again has the ball. Another block. Takes a deflection. Beats the goalkeeper. Sek Ko Tolong. Sekotlong. Sekotlong. Scores after two minutes. Black Leopards lead 1 0. Disappointing goal. We'll have a look at that again. Nange headed it down. It was blocked once. Zulu picked it up. His shot was blocked. Fell to the uh, second long, hit the defender, and went away from the goalkeeper. So it was, obviously he was diving in a different direction. So yeah, disappointed that we are losing. We've got a free kick here. Merlerka whips it in. Tiolane picks up the ball, tried to play it back in, but he's been fouled apparently. I didn't see anything wrong with that, but we have a penalty. Chance to bring it back to one all in the eighth minute of this game. Tiolane steps up. Tiolane hits the post, tucks in the rebound, and. Uh, for some reason, sometimes the players, they'll hit, they'll miss the penalty and they will just stand there and do nothing. I like the fact that Tialane just kept on running and going after that ball when it, um, when it happened. I don't know if it's because the goalkeeper touched it. I'm not sure if you hit the post, you're allowed to, to obviously then go in for the rebound. But I think the fact that the, the keeper touched it onto the post helped there. A chance... Again for Black Leopards, but this time it's gone wide. And it's uh, currently 1-1, and I am surprised so far. Our change of tactics seems to have worked. We are playing the better side. Um, we are uh, we we are dominating possession as well, but they seem to be getting more highlights. And Masunda with a great free kick. Mkwapi Masonda has made it 2-1 after 33 minutes. Black Leopards, <sighs> although not dominating this game, they're getting the better highlights. Not sure why. Let's have a quick look at the analysis. How are they playing? They're playing quite high up, so we need to get the ball in behind them. We are playing deep, uh, so it might be a case where we need to do something with that in the second half and look to put the ball over. Um, we've got some advice from our assistant as well. Uh, make changes. Let's see what happens. So we're not playing bad, but we're losing. So uh, obviously that doesn't work. Um, disappointing again. I'm going to go to the tactics. And what we're going to do is... How did they score their goals? They were more from crosses, weren't they? So we're going to play on wide. Uh, we are playing a direct passing. Playing on wide. And we're going balanced. And I'm going to change Miloeka for... A support and I'm gonna change him for support as well because we've got a lot of attacking players in in that um, lineup and we're also gonna change um, Tiolane to an advanced forward rather than a pressing forward see what happens in the second half can we get 
back into the game. Don on the ball there. And Masonda with another free kick. Can he make it 3-1? No, but it's just gone wide. Very close from Masonda there. Zulu now with a throw on. Masonda heads it down, but Ricotso wins it back. Meluweka with a long ball forward, but he's giving it away. Shithole. Long ball by the goalkeeper. It's one back. Meluweka to Sekonze. Long ball over the top looking for Tialane. Tialane has already scored one today from the penalty spot. Can he get another? Seba has picked up a knock. We might need to take him off. Good ball across to the, to Rav. What's he going to do with it? He doesn't. Sekonze back on the ball. Masona. Masona. Meluweke. Seba. Great shot by Seba. And a good save by Undlov there. There seems to be a lot of players called Undlov in this league. Mapoyano. Whips the ball into the box. It's headed clear by Shithole. Makunadila. Back to Mapoyonde. And it's a good block again from the defender. And it's... Black Leopards bring the ball away. And it's still 2-1 to Black Leopards here. 25 minutes to go. I am going to make a sub. Because obviously, Seba seems to have picked up a knock. Uh, I don't know who... I'm going to bring on the Killy for him. Uh, Tiolane has been poor again. So I'm going to bring on Anus. See what he can do in this game. And obviously, there's not long left to go. So I'm going to go on attacking. Because we've got 10 minutes to, to try and score a goal. Long ball looking for Masonda. So Konzi picks it up. Long ball again. And I, I, one thing I might have to do is change it from direct. Because we are playing a lot of long balls and just giving the ball away. Nanga on the ball looking for Munyai. He loses the ball to Akonza. But again, the ball was just recycled back to Black Leopards. And that shot has gone wide. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this on to passing. Uh, but I'm still going to do it on a higher tempo. Uh, hit early crosses. Be more expressive because it's the last the last 10 minutes. We need to do something here, people. Masaya to Zulu. Zulu's had a good game. Plays it to Don. But he's lost the ball out to Malueka. Malueka brings it forward. Cuts across. Anus! Anus is through! Anus has scored! In your anus, mate! Fuck yeah! 2-2. Two -two. Looks like we're going to pick up our first point of the season. But there's still eight minutes to go. Has that switch to passing worked out? And on attacking as well. Obviously, I'm not going to play every game on attacking. But uh, it seems to have worked. We've got the equaliser. Hopefully we don't throw it away late on in the game like we've done earlier. And we're into injury time. Don't look like anything's going to happen. But Muluweka with a free kick. It's gone over the bar. Surely that's the last piece of action from the game. The whistle has been blown. We've got our first point of the season. And I am happy with that result. We played very well. 15 shots. We dominated possession. Uh, we just need to work on a few things. I might switch it to passing. Um, but overall, we've done very well in that game. And we're currently in 13th place. After three games, no wins so far in the league, but I've got confidence that uh, once we play around with... I switched that to wide, didn't I? Once I play around with the tactics, that hopefully... Um, I'm going to take that off as well and just mix it up. Hopefully we can uh, do something here, but I'm going to play a high tempo, short passing, um, hit early crosses. We'll keep it on whipped. I'm going to leave it like that. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, that will be the formation that works. Obviously, I'm going to change this as well to advance forward. Tiolane is not really impressed so far. I might switch him to, because he didn't really do anything either, to an attacking midfielder on support. We've got these wingers uh, inside forwards on attack. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, so that's what has happened. I say we've... Uh, not had the best of starts after a decent preseason, but what we're going to do is we're going to come back. We're going to come back for this game. We're going to only have a few games. We're going to play Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, we might even play FC Stars as well. Um, I haven't decided yet. I might just have the one game uh, for this one, uh, or we might come back for this one. I don't know because there's a bit of a break after the Kaiser Chiefs game. So uh, I do want to play Kaiser Chiefs though. Although no, let's do it. We're going to skip. What we're going to do is we're going to play all these games. We're going to come back for the games against Sundowns and Orlando Pirates. Two big game, uh, big teams in South African football and uh, big games in the league as well. It gives us a chance to 
plow through a few games as well. So um, make sure you tune back in for that episode. Remember, we're every Sunday at 7 a.m. If you like what you've seen, guys, hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more, why not subscribe to the channel? We've got plenty of Football Manager content on here and gaming content as well if you like gaming. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. It's been a pleasure doing this episode with you. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Take care.